I'll admit, I was worried about the Bayonetta series. I didn't know how the action series would survive in this modern space, but that didn't stop Nintendo from supporting the Platinum Games developed title. As a result, Bayonetta 3 blew me away. From the moment I picked up the controller to play through a short demo, I haven't stopped thinking about the fluid combat in Kaiju action. Suffice to say, it's my most anticipated game of 2022. <laughs> The Switch isn't known for high quality performance, but Bayonetta 3 delivered the action from the opening moments of the demo. While the story cinematics were kept light, I got a good idea of the new combat features. Bayonetta's movement feels intentional in combat, and the combo system is deep with the newly added Demon Masquerade system. Players can freely switch between infernal demons during chained together combos to react to enemies. So, regardless if you're in closed quarters or out in the open, there's a demon that fits the situation, but you aren't limited to any specific moveset. Combat is fluid. You're almost floating while in an encounter. Bayonetta draws from the power of the demons that switch her weapons and means of traversal. Still, as my fingers executed various actions, I experienced a beautifully choreographed action scene of Bayonetta kicking ass. Her movement is hypnotizing, her prey and I fell under her spell as she moved across the screen, executing some of the coolest combos I've seen in the video game. I would say that the video environments appeared dull, but then I was riding a demon using boats as skates while chasing a demon rampaging through the city. The camera moves with the action and displays everything you need to see in a cinematic way. But then, the entire experience shifted, and I summoned my demon friend using a system called Demon Slave, where I could control the monster and defeat more powerful enemies. The limits of this system depend on your surroundings, but they are a true marvel to experience. There's so much power behind these creatures, but Bayonetta is left vulnerable and almost naked while they stomp around, so that's something to consider. I'll hold back my expectations until I play more. The enemy variety and story are something that I look forward to knowing more about. Further, I want to fight using more than just the two demons I had access to during the hands-on preview. I have so many questions, but I can't look past how much fun I was having. Bayonetta 3 proves that the Switch can handle action, as it raises the bar of the genre already established by this brilliant series. There's a lot to be said about the novelty of the kaiju battles, but from what I played, I can't see myself growing tired of the intentional and hypnotic combat systems. I'm glad to see Bayonetta enter a new chapter of her life. I only hope that she can live up to the hype. Also, if you were wondering, I like her new costume, but she could wear a turtleneck and baggy jeans and still be a sexy the Umber Witch in my eyes. Bayonetta 3 is coming to Nintendo Switch on October 28th, 2022. Thanks for watching. Please be sure to check out the full preview at NoisyPixel.net. NoisyPixel is run by a group of gamers who work hard to deliver news, reviews, previews, and more. Please subscribe to keep up with all our future content. <laughs>